Should I bend over here or in the stock room? Thank you. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Mickey Flanagan. This is Forget to Get a Card. Card. Let's go. Mr. Ahmed's got a lovely shop. He's in the ship parade, by the way, Mr. Ahmed. He's proud of his shop. It's not that great, but I would never tell him. He's got a terrible card selection. <laughs> and I know because I've used it to get out of jail a few times. Because as we know, there's a group of people in the world who believe the giving and receiving of cards is very, 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 very important. And they're called women. Don't they love a card? Fuck! My wife got someone a card the other day because they had their kitchen finished. Now, there are a lot of dates to remember for what? a man, and it's quite confusing and quite stressful. Anniversaries are tough, aren't they? Certainly if they fall on a weekday, you keep telling yourself all day long, I'm going to get that card later, I'm going to get that card later, I'm definitely going to get that card later. And if you're a decent man, you go to the card shop. You don't go to the news agents, you go to the card shop. You ever seen a man in a card shop? You'll never see a more lost, confused individual in your life, a more desperate, lost. This happened to me three weeks ago. Was it three weeks ago? My girlfriend's birthday. This exact same thing happened to me. So when I'm getting presents, when I'm getting for birthday, I get the presents. I always forget about the card. Cause I don't, as a guy, I don't think of cards. But I know my girlfriend, she loves a card. So I could get her something worth £1,000. One thousand pounds, yeah. I could get something really expensive. She she wouldn't look at that first. She literally look at the card, open the card, read the card. But for me, I just I just want to see my presents. I I care more about the present than the card. But so literally last time I had to literally leg it to the card factory. It was the card factory before they closed, and I actually got a nice card. I was so proud of myself. I was, she was like, "Oh, you took your time." Like, yes, I did. Actually, I hope she's not watching this. If you are, I love you. <laughs> just staring at these cars. <laughs> Look at all these cards, man. There's not this many occasions, is there? <laughs> the woman says, can I help you, sir? I've got to get a card. It's, it's for my wife, it's our anniversary, you know. <laughs> yes, they're over there, sir. Thank you. Thanks. And you get the card and you take, can I buy this card, please? Yes, if you've got 13 pounds, sir, you can buy it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Should I bend over here or in the stock room? Thank you. <laughs> you keep telling yourself all day long, I'm going to get that card, I'm going to get that card. And then you get home about half past six, don't you? You go to put the key in the door and you're like, ah, ah, ah! <laughs> Fucking forgot a card. <laughs> all the blood drains from you. There's a whooshing sound in your ears. You think, I'm going to go, I'm going to go! Think, Mickey, think, think. Mr. Ahmed, Mr. Ahmed. And I go running down the street, I'm down the street. And as I come in, he puts a bottle of vodka on the side. I say, not now, Mr. Ahmed, I'm proper under pressure, mate. Not now. I've now got to pick a card out of his pitiful selection here. It's pitiful. There's a bunch of violets. Who the fuck buys violets on the card? Polar bears. Polar bears can help. Polar bears in sunglasses. I could do it. Let's have a little read of this. I think you're cool. Well, that ain't gonna do it. It's not gonna <laughs> Then you see it. A vintage car. Mmm. <laughs> Somewhere in the recesses of your mind, you convince yourself, I'm sure she loves a vintage car. <laughs> I'm sure when we first met, she told me she loves a vintage motor. That'll do for me. I go to Mr. Ahmed, I say, Look, give me a pen, Mr. Ahmed, let me write a nice message. You're my favourite, right? <laughs> Fold it down, stick it down, right, fine, job done. Go in the kitchen. Go, there you go, babe. That's from me to you. <laughs> she's beaming, she's beaming! And she opens the card and suddenly... 
the face has gone. She's worked out this is a forgot to get the card card. The tenor flutters to the floor. Everyone loves a tenor in their car, come on. I've upset her now. If I upset my wife, she goes and gets in her little upset rowing boat. And she rows away from Love Island. Leaving me on the shore. I say, come back, babe. Let's choke. Choke. I can't even look at you in the moment. I can't even look at you. The dog's next to me like that. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> what a performance, I can't run. It's not like you forgot, is it? <laughs> she didn't take the treats, did she? She said the treats. Oh, God. Are you out? Oh, Lord. Again. I think one of the reasons why I really love this geezer because he says things that are so realistic. Things that happen to me. That's why I really like this guy. E and Peter K, they're so relatable. Like no matter how you know how big they are, you can just relate to what they say. I feel like most people watching this, it's happened to you before. Yeah, I love this guy. Please, please keep telling me what to react on. I don't know. I'm new to most of these guys. Yeah. Just comment down below. Let me know. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.